Okay, today we're looking at port valves. This particular one is a Honeywell 3 port. If it was a 2 port, it would look like that. Its job is to take water in here and then either send it out to hot water to the cylinder or to the central heating, or obviously to both. Now, if it was a 2 port, its job would be just to either stop or let water through. Now, once you know one of these valves, you can pretty much diagnose the rest. Now, it's on the system. First thing to do is to come along and you see the little lever here, manual. Now what you can do is switch everything off to the system so there's no power. And what you should be able to do is feel, push this across and feel resistance. Push it slowly, don't horse it across. Um, and what, what you can actually feel is, is the rotation of the motor internally. If it's all floppy, then you've got a problem, it's probably jammed, but basically you should, it should ease across and then just come back on itself. Then, to check if it's opening, what you can do is you can power up the system, put on the thermostats um, and put on the programmer and this then should be literally flopped open and it should just be able to wobble. Now obviously it's going to close because it's doing as it should do and it's not powered up. <clears throat> now, um, the other thing obviously with these valves is that if you feel the pipe below and the pipe above, uh, you know, if one's hot and one isn't, the valve's obviously closed, you can try then manually opening it to see whether um, it's actually then going to let water through. But we'll go a bit further on. What you can do, get the valve open, all you do, just loosen this screw here and slip the top off. Now, before we do this, again, remember the electrical safety. If you've not got it switched off, this metal casing can touch wires. You can get really badly hurt. If you don't know what you're doing, if you don't feel confident, do not do it. Anyway, off it comes. Internally, you have a synchron motor. This is basically a motor which operates the gearbox below, um, it's 240 volts, it's AC, um, and what that does is it literally, it rotates this spindle here, so it rotates a little uh, sort of large, large thin cog um, and, and rotates the spindle that drops down into the water section, and you can actually see that move like that as it's operating. Now to test and see what you've got going on, um, if you put your multimeter to the two wires going into the synchron motor, if you've got 240 volts to it, but it's not actually moving, um, then what you've got is you've got a busted motor. Alternatively, if you see that this is actually stuck in the open position, uh, again, the motor is jammed. If there's a, an issue with the motor, what you can do is just, in this case, there's only one screw, but in some cases there's two. This one, you literally loosen off and take out the screw, um, and uh, the synchron motor can then be removed. Out it comes, just one little screw like that, and then you see how it's stuck underneath a tab there. Just rotate it back and lift it off, and there you go. The motor can be replaced. The best thing to do is to cut these wires and just put in two little chop block connectors, um, and then you can see that that then runs freely, there's a little, uh, the little sort of cog runs across the bottom there. Now the port valve's job, what it does, it's literally there as almost like a relay. When your programmer switches on, it doesn't actually switch your boiler on. What it's doing is it's switching on the port valve, the port valve then rotates open, um, and then it touches a micro switch which then activates the boiler and the pump. So it's not actually instantly, you know, your program is not actually instantly operating the, um, you know, the, the, the boiler and the, the heat, if you see what I mean. Now then, one of the things with these is the gearbox tends to go. Now, the trouble with that is it's not always obvious. Um, so what can happen is a synchron motor can turn. So if you take this out and you see that it's, it's turning, um, but it won't actually do its job. It won't rotate it right round. You see here, when this moves, you can actually see how that runs round and hits, don't get me wrong, in this case, two micro switches, because it's a three port, we'll come on to that in a minute, but on a two port, it's just one micro switch to, to fire the boiler. Now sometimes it won't go right round, it won't, you know, it just hasn't got the power to get there, or it slips. You can usually find that out, because when you move this lever, you'll actually hear the gearbox start to click and clunk and jump. So this will sort of snag and jump as you turn it. Anyway, if that's the case, there's not much you can do. I'm afraid you're just going to have to change it. Um, in terms of the micro switch, mostly what you're doing is the, the checking to see whether it's actually looking to fire the boiler. So if you do see this, 
when powered up, swing right over, contact the micro switch. What you can do is check for continuity across the grey and the orange to make sure that you've actually got this micro switch is actually doing its job and is closing the, the, the circuit down. Assuming it's working, assuming everything's moving as it should be, what you can do is look at changing the head or taking the head off. Now, diagonally opposite, you've got one screw here and one screw here. Now, if you've got four, one, two, three, and four, you've got a problem because you've got the old style Honeywell valve. Now, if you undo that old style with all four, the water's going to come pouring out. I'll show you now with this one, um, but you can actually see, you just literally loosen it off, don't worry, it's a captive screw, it's not going to go anywhere. These are often in a very bad place in the cupboard. Literally loosen them off like that, and uh, off you go. Now, just with a bit of a wiggle, should come off, and there you go. Now you see, this is the motor head, or, or the valve head, and this is the body. And you see how you've got two screws there that are still, or two bolts that are still in place. The old Honeywell don't have that, and the problem is you undo that one, that one, that one, that one, all the water comes out. You can imagine the rest. So, um, to see whether your valve is, is operational, you can actually turn this, not by much, they don't move far, but you can actually, you can feel it as it should be. If it's totally wedged solid, usually you can just crack it free. And it will be, you know, it'll come free and be all right. But it should literally, you should be able to turn it with your fingers. So, okay. <clears throat> if you found you've got a problem, you've decided to change the head, buy a new one. They're easy to get hold of. You know, eBay, etc. These, the Synchron motor, again, easy to get hold of. Don't be frightened about buying a new one, putting a new one in. That's the usual problem. Um, you can't put it in the wrong way, really. You can't um, put the wiring wrong. It's an AC motor. Just connect the wires back up. It's fine. Um... Now, to put the head back on, that can be a little bit tricky. So what you do is, with your finger, you push it to the open position. You hear how that one jumps there as we do it? It's not a good valve, as you can probably tell. It's a bit... You can actually hear it jump. There you go. Now, that's showing it's not a good valve. The gearbox isn't too good. So, you know, it's... it's um, but it still works, this one. So what you do is you rotate it gently to the open position. Place it on top and let it go and as it closes it will get to the right place and it should fall in just fall into position watch it not do that for me now there we go that's dropped into position and then you can screw it back up okay the common problems with this are the gearbox going you usually hear it clunking and clanking um, the Synchron motor going, again, they're about 18, 20 quid. You can buy those. That's not a problem. Easy to change. Uh, if it's anything past that, I advise changing the head. Obviously, bear in mind, anything below this means a drain down to the system. Um, occasionally, the micro switch will go. In this case, it's a three port. We can't go too deeply into it with the three ports because the wiring is quite complex. Um, it, in this case, what it does is that there's more wires than is showing here. There's actually a white one as well. Um, the, the idea here is that that's your neutral, earth obviously, switched live which goes to the boiler and then you've got these two, power one, it goes halfway across to open both ports, power two it goes all the way across and closes off everything except central heating, So, but we won't go into that too deeply here. Basically, is the motor running? If it isn't, change it. Is it seized? And then past that there's not much one can do. Right, that's that part of valves done. Um, obviously, look on other guides. Um, you know, follow my feeds, etc. And uh, that's that for that.